What is good guys of YouTube, guys and gals of YouTube I mean. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do an oil change on a car which is a typical four stroke engine. Um, so here we have a 07 Cobalt LS with the 2.2 liter in it. So it's nothing too special. She's just a point A to point B car with 186,000 on her. Um, we got Valvoline, full synthetic, 5W30, Sin Power, good stuff. You can see me in the reflection, scratch my back there. Oh my god, I have a funny story for you guys. So that's uh, my girlfriend's sister's car and that's her dad's truck. So I needed to get into the garage. I was parked there. So I squeezed the car through this space right here by moving the plant. And holy shit, guys, that was a tight fucking space. My God. Backed up kind of onto the grass, just angled her in. Hopefully I'll be able to get it back out when I need to go get the go to the store <laughs> later today. Hopefully, hopefully. But holy shit, that was a tight corner. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna quickly jack up the car and we will resume from there. I'm gonna speed cut it right here. So I got a little safety tip for you guys too for when you jack up a car. So how you do it on a unibody car for most people who don't know how to jack up a car, you have to jack up one side of the car. So on a unibody car, there's this thing called the pinch weld, which looks like this. It's this little piece of metal right here that's welded together. So the jack goes up towards the front of the car. If you can see right where I have that placed currently, right on the pinch weld, so it's got a nice piece of that pinch weld. And then a few inches behind the jack, I put in the jack stand, and it's resting on the jack stand, but the jack still here has pressure. So you jack up one side at a time, stick your jack stand under, set the car on that jack stand, and then go over to the other side, same spot, just like this side over here over on that side and you do that then you put the jack in and all that fun stuff it's pretty simple alright so let's get into it here I also have to do a tire rotation on this front wheel drive car so these two front wheels here in the front go to the back and I'll show you guys in another video after this one how I do that so let's go into the car here sorry I'm a little out of breath that's the thing you guys have to be careful with on some cars. The doors may not open while you're doing stuff. See, because this, this is a little, you can hear it. Because this door doesn't normally squeak and there's a lot. You can feel there's a little bit of pressure on that door. Another trick to do with a car when you're doing an oil change this engine bay has been detailed by me, as you can see. It's very, very clean under here. Um, another trick is to drive the car around for a good 10, 20 minutes before you do a oil change on the vehicle because it helps with, um, it helps make all the oil come out a lot easier. Because when the car is warm, if it makes sense to you guys, when the car is warm, oil is going to come out easier. I just got to grab my pail here. So guys, we're up and under the car. We got our ratchet and our 15 mil socket. So if you're doing this car, there you go. It's a 15 mil socket for this. I'm just using the standard socket, 3 8 ratchet, nothing special. The bolt is right there. This is the tranny pan. You never touch the tranny pan unless you're doing a transmission flush. Um, make sure on your ratchet it says either on or off. And make sure it's set to off because we're taking it out. Duh. So it goes this way. Most ratchets are the same. It's going to be that way. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. That's always a good one to remember. Hopefully, I'm going to see if I can line this up for you guys so you can see me loosening the bolt. But I can't let my phone get dirty. Oh, this is tight. Alrighty, guys. I'm back here. Taking off the bolt here. The bolt was just a little bit tighter than normal. And I think I just saw black drips. Yeah, that. So, right at this point, it's a good idea to slide your bucket in under. I'm gonna. So, as you see, guys, she's draining. Pretty fucking black. Just normal. Because <clears throat> she's a little bit over on here, actually. 
And I gotta set this down to the sky real quick so I can dry the oil off my hands. Gotta make sure we're not getting all over the floor here. Oh yeah, guys. That's uh There we go. Look at that. Perfection. We well, got a few drops of oil on the ground too. By the drain bolt, then right there. The drain bolt was a little tight. I had to hit it with a. Uh, I was going the correct way too. <laughs> I've done that before where I fucked around and got my left and my right mixed up. Um, I had to hit it with uh, extension the um, breaker bar because whoever did this thing last, which I don't think was me, or it could have been me, but whoever did it last, holy shit, was it tight. I always write, wipe off the drain bolt here a little bit just because you don't want that disgusting bolt getting disgusting over time. See, look at that. Look at the threads on that thing. So it's brand fucking new. Excuse the video quality, I'm on the iPhone 6 versus uh, using the iPhone 7 or the GoPro. My GoPro was dead and I didn't really want to wait to make this video. So we went with what we had. Man, she's just dribbling now. We'll let that dribble all the way out. All right, let's go up to the top and get the oil filter out. All right, so. Okay, my phone's being potato. Come on, figure your shit out. All right, so to do the... Okay, we'll just flip it around just in case. Cause I, so guys, I got the oil filter socket here. It's sitting right there up on the block. I'm going to grab our <clears throat> ratchet from down here real quick. This is really hard to do one-handed, guys. I wish I had my lovely film assistant. <laughs> um, so we're going to quick... you. What you do is you just sit here and you turn it out. Hopefully. Shit, she's stiff. Hold up. I'm going to set this down real quick. I'm going to get this loosened up because I need two hands. <laughs> Give me a second here, guys. So, guys, I got it all loosened up. I'm taking the top off right now. And sometimes the whole filter will come out with it. This is one of those times. Ishy, ishy, ishy. These things are disgusting looking. Look at that. She is not happy. Look at that, guys. Just fucking bent the pleads. Holy shit. Crusty filters. All right. I'm going to get the new filter out. Take care of all this, guys. Um, so as you can see down there, there's the old, where it goes, the old slot. I'm going to set that on the ground, grab the new filter, and we'll resume. So guys, I got a new filter out here. It's a Wix filter. I've always liked Wix filters, so let's see how this one does on there. Um, you have to replace the O-ring on that black plastic thing. So quickly, I'm gonna see if I can knock this out of here without touching it. Okay, I do have to touch it. Okay, this is a bitch to do one-handed. I'm gonna hold this with my mouth. That's much better. So there's the old filter in comparison to the new filter. Holy shit, look at the size difference. Cheap filter versus decent filter. <laughs> I didn't buy that filter. I think that's a dealership filter. Um, I'm going to flip this upside down here. Stick the filter in. Okay. I need two hands for a second here. You guys can stare at me. I'll see. I'll let you guys see as I'm doing this. Here, let's hope I don't get any oil on my phone. That'd be a bitch. Okay, there we go. It filters in. Um, I need to find, like, a knife real quick. So I got the old seal off, guys. Here she is, right there. I'm going to quickly put on the new one. Put this uh, filter back in. I hate the packets these come in because they can be a pain in the ass to get stuff out of, especially when your hands are oily. <laughs> Everything's a pain in the ass when your hands are oily. But why you replace the ring on here, I don't know. 
There's two rings on here. Believe it or not, you're only replacing one of them. I don't need two hands. I have to do this with one. All right, so I just stuck the socket on. Okay, maybe do it with my hand first here. Alrighty. All right, guys, I'm gonna quickly tighten this. I'm gonna set you guys. Fill the beach up. And we're good to go then. All right. Got the bolt right here. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm hopping around under here. All right, let's wipe that down a little bit. Even though there's still a couple drip drips coming out. All right, of course I take a while to do oil changes because I sit, especially when I'm sitting here telling you guys how to do it, takes even longer. All right, she's all snugged up. All right, let's get our funnel and fill her up, boys. Ugh. This is gonna be one big freaking video. <laughs> All right. 